Okay, so today you've got Brian here to help us with our science experiment. Hello. Hello. Hi. Now I've got to ask you, um, is anyone interested in space travel? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? yeah? You're all interested. Do you know how long it'll take to fly to Mars? I think years. Years, yeah. Well, at least, at least a year, I think, for the round trip, if not more. Which means you'd need to grow food, wouldn't you? So, um, do you think that'd work? What, what would we need to grow food in space? Well, I think we need, first off, the seeds. We need a water source and some sort of soil, like sand and something like that. Perfect. Any other ideas? We need poo. <laughs> and there'll be, <laughs> be plenty of that in the spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> we are, though. We have no poo, unfortunately, because it's not that hygienic. We're going to <laughs> stick to what we can do. So today, people, we are going to be investigating do plants need soil to grow? You've got all the equipment on your table. Off you go. So looking at your pots, you've got Soil, you've got sand, you've got cotton wool, and we've got our control. What do you notice about the material in Liam and Mars cups? It isn't fair because uh, there's a lot of the paper towel, there's quite a lot of soil, and there isn't that much sand, but they've put a lot of cotton wool in it. Perfect. So we each need to make sure that when we're setting up our experiment, each pot has the same amount of material in it. I wonder if it'll grow in cotton wool. Elise and Izzy, how many seeds have you got in your pots? Two. Two, good. If one fails, then the other one can take over. Good girl, super. So we need a backup if one of the seeds doesn't germinate. So what might the problem be if I put all of these seeds into one pot? They might not be able to share the water very well because there might not be enough water and then they won't be able to survive. Good girl, so they might struggle for resources. If you have too many seeds in a small space, then they might not be able to grow properly. How much do you add? Do you know, does it Only a little bit. Why do you not want to put too much water into your pots? Because the seeds might rot. Brilliant, good boy, super. Because too much water is bad for the seeds. So, they've planted all the seeds today, yeah. but um, then how do you follow that up? Um, so, we'd have to wait a week for them to grow, um, and after a week they should look something like this. Right. I would ask the children to first make observations. We might take measurements, such as the height of the seedlings, how many leaves they have, and then look at that to help us draw conclusions and answer our initial question. Mm -hmm. 